Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing and today I'm going to show you how can you easily create a flight design in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm making a french fries box. Let's start now with me. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I will take this uh, rectangular tool from here and drag a simple rectangle like this. Okay, and now I'm changing the color to this one. And uh, now going into now going to the direct selection tool press a from your keyboard and just drag it little upward like this okay and now moving it to little inward just like this so it will be looking like this now and now i am taking another rectangle here and just selecting both shapes together and now going into the window here choosing pathfinder and here i'm subtracting the shape so it will be looking like this now i will take a copy of this and now transform and reflect it vertically press ok and now connect two shapes together just like this so it will be looking like this now now i will unite it using the pathfinder so it's looking like this now okay so the next step that i'm going to do i will choose the direct selection tool again and here click on the one point of uh, this shape and here i'm choosing the convert selected anchor point to smooth okay and again I'm selecting this one and convert it to smooth. Now, here we have another anchor point. So I want to delete this anchor point using pan tool. So it will be looking like this now. So you can see how the design is forming. Now I'm going into the shape tools again and taking this ellipse tool from here and dragging a simple oval like this okay so now what i'm going to do i will make it uh, i will align it in the center just using this align tool and uh, now going into the subtract option using the pathfinder and going to subtract the shape just like this you can do it again because i want to adjust it just like this here and now subtract it so it will be looking like this now. Now I'm taking a copy of this, just like this here. And now taking another copy of this, press Ctrl C and Ctrl F and move it little down like this. Select everything together, both the shapes, and now again go into the Pathfinder and subtract this shape. So it will be looking like this and now connect this shape here change the color to this one so it's looking like this now okay so the next step that i'm going to do i will take rectangle tool here dragging a simple square like this and now what i'm going to do i will choose all the four corners of uh, this square and press a using the um, actually we are going to use the direct selection tool so click here in the direct selection tool and again use this convert anchor uh, convert selected anchor point to smooth select this one and again another anchor point click this one now again and the last one so the shape is looking like this now okay so i'm going to change the color to this one keep it keep it in the middle like this i'm just uh, taking this rectangular tool here again and creating a french fry look so for that i'm creating a simple rectangular bar here changing the color to make it more vibrant just uh, sorry 
I'm taking it, I'm taking this color now and just removing the stroke from here and to create a 3D look to this design, I'm taking this pan tool from here and uh, simply creating a 3D look using this pan tool. Press shift and here you can see the design is more or less looking like a flat fries and uh, here giving it a simple cover it the top point with the same color that we have used here and so now it's looking like this now okay so press ctrl g to group the layers together and now i'm going to press it here make a little tilt to the design and keep it here move it to the back just like this simply like this and now what i'm going to do I will take a multiple copy of this. You can press Ctrl C and Ctrl F and uh, we can take different copies and then we can do the angling to this, uh, to this design. And here you can see how the design is looking like now and uh, now simply adjust this shape here yes and uh, removing this from here and uh, simply reducing the size to make it adjustable within the artboard and now it will be looking like this now <laughs> Taking this ellipse tool from here and dragging a simple ellipse like this, changing the color to this by default gradient. This is white and black. Press Ctrl F9 and changing the color of black, make it more like a whitish or grayish and keeping at the back so it will be looking like this now and now reducing the opacity to around 40 percent so you can see or might be a little more higher 70 percent so it will be looking like this now make it radial so here is so here you can see our design is ready so if you want to create a flat uh, design using Adobe Illustrator so these are the simple things that you can apply on multiple designs so very easy very simple and uh, you can easily do it if you want so thank you so much for watching if you like my tutorial then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye